before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment raise down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, it's going to enter you to win a next-gen console at the end of the month. All you got to do, like the video and comment rage at the end of your comment or whatever. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one, every single week, we give away $50 in either VC, Cash App, or I give away a copy of 2K, whatever the situation, whatever fits the situation. So make sure you like the video and comment rage down below so you can get entered to one of those contests. You're going to be entering in both, and the more videos you do it on, the more you're going to be entered. Uh, the better your chance because I just choose a random video to do it from man and also thirdly the bots are back in town man make sure y'all ignore those I'm not on telegram Jay easy is only on Instagram Facebook black planet and uh, Twitter now you ain't gonna get my Facebook and black planet but you do got uh, Instagram and Twitter so if I don't tell you to hit me up on <laughs> one of those man that's I mean I wouldn't do it and uh, without further ado let's just get this video underway good morning out there in 2k land man check it out i know y'all want to know about the lockdown university shirt that i got on hit the site up breeze tees um and you can you know what i'm saying you can you can just go through here you can get a, a hoodie anything man whatever you want man so just check it out link is down in the description uh that's number one number two uh we did get a lot of interest in the epl and the uh you know so a lot of people are saying they want to do a 3v3 or a 5v5 league type joint man look i made uh, i got the discord and i got two spots in the discord all you got to do join the discord the link is down in the description and it's going to say epl 3v3 interest epl 5v5 interest so if you're interested in doing either one of those man make sure y'all go go through there and check that out um and just just type in there say i got a team or i got a team or we got a team or you know whatever right there if we can get enough interest um in the next couple of days, what I want to do is try to see if we can get something going this weekend. Maybe we'll do a little mini tournament this weekend or something like that, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, right now, uh, and last but not least, man, look, bro. I got to talk to y'all about it. I know we got a lot of new people that's new to the program and new to the uh, new to to how we, how we do things around here. I got to talk to y'all about Raging with Randoms, man. Listen, this is a series that goes back to 2011. It was born out of Call of Duty. You see this right here, Early Morning Rage, episode one, where I would drop in the games, I'd go play random games with randoms, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We just we just have a good time. Y'all know that I control what I post, right? <laughs> right, right? Look, I know, I know for a fact that, uh, hold on, let's see we go. Like, I got, I got like, what, two, 200 videos in this series, something like that, probably more than that. Look, I know, for a fact that I, I that y'all don't know that I played six games last night. I won five of them and I lost one. And the one that I lost is the only one that I felt like was postable because I I when I went when I when we go through here and roll somebody, look what happens. Nobody watches the video. Three thousand views. This video got three. It says nineteen hundred right here. Y'all can't see it. I'm over thirty five hundred right now because we lost. You know what I'm saying? So like. It's, it's a method to the madness with Raging with Rattlers, bro. I know I can go in there with my regular guard and straight carry people, but it doesn't make for a good video. What makes for a good video is when I get sold in dramatic fashion so people can laugh and have fun and all that good stuff, man. So like I said, I've been doing Raging with Rattlers for a long time, but I know we got a lot of new people here and they're not familiar with, with uh, that content. But that thing been going on since 2000. Somebody was like, you should do it with Call of Duty. It was born out of Call of Duty, baby. That's, that's, that's what we do. Um, you know, and we will probably be posting a couple of those. Y'all might not watch them, and if you don't, that's cool. I just won't post them. I'm, I'm only gonna post what people watch, but I have to do it in a way where people uh, like it and and they have fun with it, man. So I'm out there having fun. I'm really not mad. I mean, I got ones where I broke controllers. I snapped controllers in half. Y'all gotta go back and watch them joints. Monitors got broken and all that stuff. But I'm not mad for real. I just I just try to make y'all a good video and make y'all have some fun with it and just make something that's relatable, bro. So I, I really appreciate y'all appreciating that. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just wanted to get that out there. That, uh, I mean, it's it, it's it's random. It's like anybody can win with randoms, but I just, I try to put myself in an unfavorable position and see what we can do. Up first, hey, we got the boy Power DF says, at some point the conversation has to stop being about who I used to be and start being about who I'm becoming. You're right about that, man, because everybody in this life always wants a second chance, a third chance, fourth chance, 15th chance. Some of, I got some uncles that's on, that's on chance number 92. And, and you know what I'm talking about? I got, I got those. 
And you know what? We all want another chance, but the thing is, we never want to give somebody else another chance. We always want to try to hold them to what we to what we seen to their worst day. You can't judge somebody off of their worst day. If you judge me and you off of our worst day, just think about what people would think. Like I got some bad days, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I know I know how I am. I got some really bad days and going through some bad things. If you judge me off my bad on my worst day, you will probably think I'm the most reprehensible human, un irredeemable human being that you've ever met. You really probably would. And I would probably think the same thing about y'all, but guess what? The only people that get to see our worst days are our families. And uh, you know, they the ones that we gotta deal with for the rest of our life, not people on the internet whose opinions means nothing. So saying all that to say this, you gotta, like at some point, it does have to become about something else, but we as people, we gotta get by and know that the people that's closest to us are the ones that really matter. We just can't worry about it, just keep on moving. And uh, hey, sooner or later, it's gonna become about something else. You don't ask, don't don't ask for people to change the narrative. You change the narrative by yourself, and then in the future, you'll be so far away from what you what you were that people won't even recognize you. Like people look at me now, like, dang, that's you. I thought you was the yeah, that, that was me. But you know, hey, we overcame all adversity and all that. If I told y'all some of the stuff that I've been through, y'all number one wouldn't believe it. Number two, y'all be like, dang, really? So you know, it is what it is, man. Up next, hey, we got the boy Coast Coaster DL say the dudes who complain about dribbling because it's not realistic be the same ones taken out from the free throw line every possession and that's facts hey bro like i said that, that's why i said we need we, when it comes to talking about is the game realistic or what's realistic and what's not really shut the f up shut the f up like yo come on bro you're not shooting three like nobody look, everybody in the game literally don't even have uh, no, no, no mid range. People really don't even got mid range on because we don't take mid range. A lot of people got 70 mid range and like 93 three ball and stuff like that. Just think about that. That's not realistic. None of this stuff is realistic. You're not dunking from the free throw line. You're not even dunking the basketball every time. It'll be far more realistic if you just laid it up every time. You don't even got the energy to dunk it every time. So that's why I always say, man, that whole, the whole talking about what's realistic and what's not, we got to realize that it's a video game. It would not be exciting if we had to shoot mid ranges all the time. And if we had to shoot, uh, and we had to lay the ball up every single time and stuff like that. And if you really got exposed for what your IQ was, it, it wouldn't be fun. It's a video game. It's got to be balanced. That's the only thing that we really got to do. So we just want to make sure. Dang, boy, I shot an early. How is that? Early? Bro, I was shooting. I was shooting hella earlies in here, bro. I don't know what it was. It felt good. Like, how many did y'all shoot this weekend when y'all like, yo, it felt good, but it said either early or hella late. Like, it was crazy. But like I said, we just got to we just gotta look at the game for what it is and say, hey, look, man. The, the game is the game. It's not gonna, it's gonna, it, it can be, the most that we can ask for is for it to be balanced. We can't ask for it to be realistic and stuff like that. So it, it just, it's, that's where we at with it. Uh, I feel like, I feel like he's right, but uh, we just gotta stop doing that and picking and choosing because you can't talk about, talk about something not being realistic and then say, I'm zoom. When they did let y'all have carte blanche with dribbling, all y'all did was left, right, left, right, left, right at accelerated speed. It did not resemble real basketball. So we had to, you know, we gotta, Satisfy people on both ends, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments. Up next, we got that boy Big Dog. He say the real, the real dog says a new way to flex how much money you got is showing people how many 2K23 bills you got. Hey, I ain't gonna count. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about that, boy. Cause, bro, what I'm telling y'all that them bills is not cheap. This is a very VC intensive game. I've told y'all that. That's why I'm trying to get y'all some relief on on every Friday and, and hit y'all with a little little cash app or a little something like that, bro. Cause I'm telling y'all, it's tough. It's tough out there. It's hard out there in them streets, man. Speaking of speaking of making it, my guy Nike, he got partner. Hey, the, the boy, my guy says, if there's one thing I can say is that you've been consistent. Proud of you, man. Hey, look, but he got he got the you know to all my haters. Nike ain't got no, he ain't got no damn haters. Can we stop with the whole fake love and haters and haters? Shit? Bro, ain't nobody hating on nobody on this internet. Like, and if they are, you know what they look like. They looking like doggone. They looking like uh Gerald from Hey Arnold or Hey Arnold himself, bro. It ain't nobody you need to be concerned with yourself about, man. It's like some dude out of the conversation want to talk about. I get carried all the time. <laughs> I wish I had crime, bro. I'm gonna do my crime. <laughs> Jay, Jay, you got, you got. I carry randoms all the time. I got an 85, three weird percentage carrying randoms. You average three points a game, and you get carried by Brood and Rand. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. I don't care. I play this game 
to make content. And it's good content when you lose. No other YouTubers gonna post their losses, bro. <laughs> Nobody else gonna post their losses. And like I said, I control what I I control what I post, so you know it is what it is. I just think that that's I just think it's asinine when people just <laughs> in people's opinions, it doesn't matter what other people think. Let's just we go we move forward and we ball. And like he said, if you everybody talking about they got a bag, go over there and drop a bag on Nike today, man. I wish I had Crime Brute. Crime Brute, can I hire you? Let me know can I hire you now in the comment section. Up next, we got the boy Stack say probably one of the dumbest tweets I've seen in a while. And here we go. It's easy, it's easy for y'all biggest biggest content creators to say, oh, keep keep going. Uh, stay focused and stay locked in. Uh, your time will come. Bro, do y'all realize that it's easy for y'all to uh, to say that because y'all basically already made it. And when y'all were small, 2K was at, a, was at the top and popping. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bro, when I came into the 2K community, there was no 2K community. There was nothing. It was Chris Move, and that was it. You're talking about 2010, putting out 2K videos with zero audience. There was nothing. I, I kept doing that. I did Call of Duty. I took a three-year break when I was at the height of my momentum, and then, then I came back in what, 2K16, grinded it out. 2K17 was my biggest year of growth. 2K18, 19, 20, 21. 22 trying to fight the fight no growth and this year we just having fun and we blowing bro listen man the only person that you got to hold accountable for what you're doing is you man um you know it, uh you know it, it is what it is uh let me see I'm, I'm sorry uh yeah i had to check on stuff from my guy my guy was telling me how he's doing he said he's doing good um he's doing a little bit better and uh you know and some of the stuff very uh, time consuming. He has not gotten an update yet. See, I, I really do check with my people from the community. He just messaged me just now, so I had to make sure that we got that to y'all. So he's doing better, but he don't know exactly where it's gonna go. But like I said, bro, don't blame your failure on somebody else or something else, bro. You just gotta keep going. If you tried and you didn't make it yet, then, I mean, that just means you haven't gotten to where you gotta get to yet. Bro, like, like you can you imagine how discouraging it's been over these 14 years that I have not hit 100k yet and yet I'm still putting out the only thing I can do is say I'm gonna keep going harder and keep putting out more videos and more videos this year we putting out two videos a day we doing a stream we doing uh um uh the shorts and all of that stuff it's discouraging when you look and you think that you put in more work than other people but what what, what it really come down to is you got to find out what your audience is, man, and you got to figure it out from there. Don't blame somebody else for your iniquities. When I ain't make it to, the, I didn't make it to the to the NBA or or no NBDL or or play overseas and stuff. I ain't blame nobody, bro. I'm six four, and I, I played big man the majority of my life, so it just is what it is. I'm where I am because of me. Take ultimate accountability, and then you're gonna be fine, man. But like, yeah, sometimes, yeah, I, there there might be somebody putting in less work than you. And they might be getting further, but it ain't because, you know, something because I'm like that. Just figure out how to be popping now. Because if, even if, if you just think about it like this, if you wasn't popping then, but then you pop, you should be popping now. Then why you ain't popping now? I don't, I don't know, man. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. Up next, we got that boy uh, Solo. He saying, yeah, props to 2K for the uh, NBA 2K League style event. Uh, it is fire AF. And uh, I didn't play that joint because I had to go chill out with the wife last night or whatever, man. Um, so... Uh, we were watching Game of Thrones, the, the the season finale. I thought it was a little bit lackluster. It's like the, the last episode was probably better than the season finale, but you know it is what it is. We was watching that, so I didn't get to play it. Brute didn't play it. They said it was cool, but they they said uh, you know playing with with the random it made it even more difficult. So uh, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all played and how y'all felt about it, man. Uh, up next we got the boy Lag out. This guy got a special place in my heart, man. This dude, I want to see him make it so bad, bro. This is one of the best players in the 2K community and all of that stuff but they, they he got to get there man i hope he get there this year this is his year this is his game he said i'm putting in the work stay the course i'm dropping hosts on you dog i'm, I'm telling people to go over there y'all go watch lag out the dude is one of the most phenomenal players 
in the 2K community, bro. And he's doing it like I don't. I, he, he doing it. He always says, "Well, y'all, y'all got to go over there." He gonna tell y'all his story, man. But he's that's a special guy, man. He he really doing this thing. He's really doing this thing, man. That boy Dime works saying this is a ridiculous myth. It needs to stop. It needs to stop uh, being spread. Six nines are nowhere as fast as six twos. It's just not true. Take it, uh, take it from someone who has ten bills already. Oh, see, he doing the flex. He he talks telling you how much money he got. I actually use a six one and a six eight daily. Clear differences. People say people aren't mad because the tall, the tall, they tall and dribble. They mad because they're just as fast as someone seven inches smaller than them. And to that I say, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't no, bro. If you if you really believe that, then you ain't never stood in front of one man. And for that, you just haven't. Like I understand what people are saying. Maybe they talk about straight ahead speed, but we don't care about nothing. When it comes to straight ahead speed, bro, we do not care. We want to know what you can do off them dribble moves and off that stuff right there, bro. That's what we want to know. And last but not least, speaking of smaller content creators, we gonna give this. We gonna give this center stage right here law and order 2k style the uh the trial of ricky what is his name uh the trial of ricky turbo let's see what we talking about in the 2k game sales against your teammates are investigated and prosecuted by a group of elite 2k players these are their stories <laughs> Dun, dun. Okay, today on the docket, <laughs> we have the People v. Ricky Turbo for buffoonery to the second degree and a lack of IQ. Mr. Turbo, how do you plead? Not guilty. Prosecution, why are we here? Ah, uh, yes, your honor, the people are requesting Mr. Turbo, who is normally a lock at the top of the zone, uh, be regulated to the corner due to a lack of IQ on the break. That has resulted in multiple fast break possessions being sold because he's, quote, Himothy. Uh, I think with the excessive evidence available, I think we really want to put him in the corner until he can get some sense. Your Honor, frankly, this is a waste of the court's time and a travesty on the prosecution. This is hilarious, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The defendant is a lock. He shouldn't be regulated to the corner. And if the defendant gets the stop, he shouldn't have to be a passer if you will throw touchers. He's a fader. He's a shooter. They're trying to put him into one box. <laughs> this is literally I'm everybody in the 2K community. community. The ball. Uh, so, therefore, we're asking this entire case to be thrown out because, again, if he gets the stop, he should be able to do whatever he sees fit to uh, score the best. <laughs> Prosecution, you better not be wasting the community's time. What do you have to support your claim? Well, Your Honor, I think it's laughable on the defense part to even think his client has some IQ. Just look at Exhibit A, then we can kind of go down the list here. As you can see here, the defendant is wide open when he catches the ball. Easy catch and shoot, but watch what he does with it. Nope. Later. Yeah, your eyes don't deceive you. Yeah, there's not one but two of his teammates open, but because he thinks he's him of the decides to take a contested fader, which results in uh, unsurprisingly <laughs> a miss. Now you're on. Alright, man, that's all we got for y'all, man. If y'all want to see the rest of that video, she got part one and part two up, man. I'm going to leave the link to the video in the description. Y'all, please go over there, show us some support, show us some love, like that video up, man. Let's try to get that done. This video going to get like 10,000 views, so can we get her to like 2,000 on that one or something like that, man? I went over there and looked at it today, and uh, like I said, bro, uh, the whole video is hilarious. So y'all make sure y'all go over there, like it up, show us some love, and uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, speak.